Ecomas Mwengi Mutuse. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the opportunity to contribute on the important question that has been brought by the Honorable Junet Mohamed. To my understanding, Mr. Speaker, Spoom Court is a court that is supposed to balance between philosophical, technical, and the political interests of a country. And if you look at the historical foundations of the creation of Supreme Court right away from America, you realize that it is a court that is supposed to create stability in a country. And therefore, for that particular purpose and for that historical understanding, allow me to join the rest of the members of this House in congratulating our, just, our judges of the Supreme Court in so far as balancing the philosophical, technical, and political interest in determining the place of public participation in our governance system. Having said that, Mr. Speaker, and having had a cursory look at the decision of the Supreme Court, I realized that the Supreme Court did lay grounds, factors, and the test that is to be relied upon in terms of initiating public participation for legislative work and for decisions of, on, on policy matters, in terms of how those decisions are going to be processed through the legislative system, but also importantly, the tests upon which courts of law are going to use to determine whether public participation indeed has been applied satisfactorily, both qualitatively and quantitatively. And therefore, the invitation to this House to enact swiftly a law on public participation is most welcome. As my chairman, the Honorable George Gitonga Morogara, said, in the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee, we had begun to look at ways of closing this gap because we are also we were also aware as a committee of the house involved in matters justice and matters law that we cannot continue having a legal lacuna in terms of public participation because as members have aptly put it a lot of legislation very good for the country has been shot down because of misunderstandings just judges different judges reading from different skips as to what is the place of public participation and i will therefore be very supportive when finally the state publishes the public participation law in line with the decision of the Supreme Court. But also importantly, Mr. Speaker, as this House considers the question of public participation, we may also need to consider the question of a referendum law, because hand in hand with public participation is the place of a referendum in our governance system. And, th and therefore, we'll be also urging the majority leader to also liaise with government, so that even as we enact a law on public participation, we also enact a law on referendum so that the country is adequately resourced legally to deal with these two issues. I thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the opportunity to contribute. And I want to assure the House that having successfully impeached a Deputy President, I am not going to impeach any other person soon because we cannot go lower than that. Thank you.